Hey there, my sweet little tuna sunshine surprise. Today we're gonna show you how to make this very simple Foster Roller for under $10. That's right, my friends, $10. And it will hit any kind of imperfections that you have in your hamstrings or your glutes. Let's go ahead and show you how to make it right meow. Did he just say meow like a cat? All right, my little cookie dough butt, the first place you're gonna need to go is the Home Depot. And you wanna get yourself a piece of PVC pipe just like this right here. Now, I ain't exactly sure the name of this aisle right here, but they have PVC piping, copper piping, all sorts of stuff. And looky there, my sweet begonia berry sunshine, they've got a little station where they sell PVC pipes that are the exact same size as Foster Rollers. And looky there, the one I picked was only $7.75. Wow, that's cheaper than a date with your second cousin. All right, my little strawberry shortcake princess, the next stop is the 99 cent store. Now what you wanna get yourself while you're there is some duct tape, any kind of colorful duct tape at all. That way no one is going to trip on your fascia roller when you leave it in the gym. I don't quite understand why no one has brightly colored fascia rollers. I think it would be a lot safer. All right, my little lavender moonshine princess, the next thing you wanna do is wrap your PVC pipe in that duct tape that you got at the 99 cent store. Now make sure it's brightly colored because you don't want somebody carrying a 45 plate across the floor at the gym snapping up their ankle because you left your stupid little fascia roller right in the middle of the gym. And I was about to set my PR on banjo squats too. Thanks, buddy. Now, personally, what I did is I put myself an extra little ring of tape right at the end of the duct tape. That way it ain't gonna peel up on you as you roll it on the gym floor. Now, if you make yourself a beautiful tacky masterpiece, like it's got peacock feathers on it or something like that, you go ahead and take a picture of it, post it on Instagram, and tag me, and I'll give a shout out to whoever's Foster Roller I like the most. All right, my little cinnamon cracker jack, there you have it, the Foster Roller from hell. This is a very simple project, but please, if you have not Foster Rolled before, do not use this Foster Roller, ever. Make sure and start off with the foam one first and know what you're doing before you ever use this thing. We will see you next time on LP How To's where we show you how to take a 1973 Nova frame and turn it into a squat rack. Go to break.